Hey guys, it's Deus Ex. Today I'm going to show you how to easily create a 3D model in Blender. They call me, they call me. I'm going to show you this amazing plugin that I found that allows you to create a 3D model using what I can best describe as a video game character creator. Just much, much more in depth. So if you thought this was going to be a sculpting tutorial, I apologize, but keep watching because I think you'll be very impressed by what you see. So the plugin that I found is called MB Lab, and this is a website right here. I'll have a link for it in the description. And here are the two different versions. And I'm currently using Blender 3.3, but the MB Lab 1.7.8 worked perfect for it. So that's just what we're gonna be using today. So I just click download. I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it downloaded. But yeah, that's what you do. You just click this and then you go over to Blender. I already have it downloaded on the right here, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it. First you go up to edit. And then you go down to preferences and then you click install and then you find where you have it downloaded and then you just click on the zip file and then it'll download and then you just have to go to where it is and then you just have to enable it so if I click cancel here and then I go to my add-ons and I just type in MB lab right there and then I just click this and I already have it enabled, so I don't have to do that. And then you just have to make sure you save. So save preferences. And I already have some of these things clicked, but I just clicked on inverse kinematics because if I'm gonna be posing it, I wanna be able to easily pose it. And then basic muscles, honestly, don't know what that does, uh, muscle arm, I, I don't know, I clicked it anyways. And I clicked on use cycles engine, but honestly I'm gonna be going back and forth between EV and cycles, so it doesn't really matter. And then use portrait studio lights just so I can get that nice lighting so I don't have to fiddle around with lights so it just does it for me. Yeah, and then you can just go over here to select and I'm going to be using Caucasian male because I'm a Caucasian male and I don't know I just find it easier to um, edit a Caucasian male because I'm a Caucasian. Yeah, I said that. Okay. Yeah, but there's a lot of options. Um, if you just want to take a look, uh, if you go towards the bottom, there's uh, fantasy options, male elf, dwarf. Um, there's anime characters that you can create. It's really cool. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna be using Caucasian male and let's get started. All right, so this is the default character that we start out with. And I'm just gonna switch over to Eevee already just because I don't want it to be loading constantly. I'm just gonna turn on ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. Oh, fuck. All right, and now we have our default character. So as you can see here, we can change the character age and then just, you know, you can make it look older, younger, I'm gonna undo that, the character mass, and the character's body tone, as well as the face. All right, and now to get to the part that you're probably wondering, how do I change the way the face looks? Uh, you can just go to body measures. Then you scroll down, and it gives you a bunch of options for every part of the body. And I'm gonna start with the eyes because they're a little bit too far apart. And it gives you a bunch of options here. You can play around with them, see what they do. Um, I already know that this one is how you change the distance of the eyes, so let's see what that does. Already looks a lot better, more human, cool. And now I'm going to change the way the nose looks. I'm basically just seeing what each thing does because every time I open this up for the first time, I always forget what any of these things do, so I keep trying something, not liking it, undoing, trying something else, waiting until I get the desired result. And now I'm gonna play around with the cheeks. That's what she said. All right, so the zygom, uh, that's actually the cheekbones. So we can make those more prominent and we can also change the height. Make it lower, make it higher. All right, not bad. Let's see what the mask does. All right, you can make them a model. Cool, that looks nice. Now I'm gonna go over to the chin. Let's add a little bit more definition to the center of it. Let's make it cleft a little bit more. I'm gonna move that up a tiny bit. All right, I like that. And now I'm actually gonna go to the face option. And I'm just going to play around with the actual shape of the face. Yeah, this just kind of makes it look a little bit more circular. 
Um, I don't want that, actually. I want him to have a little bit more of a squared face. That looks nice. So I'm going to stop playing around with the face options. I'm going to show you the body options. So you might have noticed that this guy has freckles, and if your heart so desires, you can get rid of those. Go down here, skin freckles, put that down to zero, gone. And you can actually see the blood coursing through his body if you don't like the way that looks. You can turn down the veins, make those go away. I like to have them on a little bit because it kind of triggers your uncanny valley if you don't have just a little bit of that. You know, you kind of want it like you can you can see it, but then when it's gone, it just kind of looks plastic. And you can also change the roughness of the skin. So I'm actually gonna increase that a little bit and then I'm gonna decrease the oil because he is not about to perform in a bodybuilding competition. So we don't need that. So I'm gonna work on the body a little bit more. I kinda of want him to be a little bit more jacked. There we go, yeah. And of course you can also, there's options for you know, the entire body. So you can play around with those. You actually just want to go to the body. You can actually just change the actual size. And so that's everything I'm going to do for the pre-character setup. And so now I just have to save it. So we go over to finalize. And then prefix just means the name of the character. So I'm just going to name him Guy. And I'm gonna click finalize with backup. And now I just have to determine where I'm gonna save it to. Oh, you can actually see the video I'm recording right now. <laughs> That's cool, we like to have fun here. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new file. And once again, let's get a name it guy. And now we just have to wait for that to finish saving. Just so you know, it might take a little bit. I'm not sure how long this one's gonna take. So I'll be back whenever it's done and I'll let you know how long it took. All right, and she's done. And yeah, I noticed that this happens sometimes that for some reason the color of the skin changes, but we can just easily change that. I can just click on the skin, go to shading. Go here, albedo map, that is what our skin is. And I'm gonna click Shift A, go to color, hue saturation. And we're just gonna add some saturation to the skin. And I'm gonna change the hue slightly. Let's see how that looks like in cycles. Yeah, that looks good, okay. All right, and now that our character is completed, now we have to do the post-completion process after creation tools. So I wanna add a face rig. I'll click on my character, create face rig. And that face rig is basically gonna allow me to move the face, eyes, mouth, make them smile, make them talk, all that. And here we go, here are our tools. So I can click on this. Oh, we're already in post mode, perfect, okay. All right, so if I want to make it look like he's saying any of these, like if I want to make it look like he's saying E, I click on E and then I click this green thing and I rotate it. Now it looks like he's saying E. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's for all these, if I want to make it look like he's saying F or V, right there. And yeah, you can do that for all of these. Um, That's how you control the jaw. They can want to eat food, you know, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> we like to have fun here. Okay. Uh, and then you can also do the eyes, eyebrows, tongue, just literally all of it. And oh yeah, I can also show you how to do, so it's already done with inverse kinematics because we clicked on inverse kinematics in the beginning. So for the body, I can just literally cl click on this and then, yeah, moves everything. And there's also, you can see the different layers. Um, I mostly like to stick with this layer because this is the most basic one. And if you start to get into stuff like this, it, it becomes a lot. So, you know, just stick here. If you want to move, you know, it's line of sight. Yeah. 
And another thing that I like to use this for is sometimes if I try to get my character to look a certain way and I'll tweak everything to death and I just can't get it to look a certain way and I know I need to do some further sculpting, uh, what I'll do is I'll just, once I'm done and I'm at this stage, I can just click on you know the character, go to shape keys, go to the very bottom. Oh yeah, also don't touch any of these. This is how you change the expression in the face and all that. So. I remember one time I deleted all of them, not knowing what these were for, and then I had to create a new character. So that was fun. All right, so I'm gonna click on new one. And then after I click on new one, I'm gonna change the value all the way up. And now let's go to sculpt mode and I'll just change the way his face looks a little bit. Let's do some further tweaking. So we have symmetry on. Grab tool, change the radius. Maybe you want to change the jaw a bit. Oh yeah, love it when it works really slow. Yeah, hopefully your computer's not as slow as mine. Well, you, you get the point basically. Yeah, and the reason I use shape keys to make adjustments to the face is because I don't want to do any permanent, you know, damage because if I want to change something, go back or anything like that, then I can because I can just go here, turn the value all the way down and it goes back to how it looked before. I literally could have just clicked that check mark and it would have done the exact same thing. So if you're looking at this and thinking it looks like really similar to what I started out with, uh, don't underestimate you know the power of this tool. I just basically did a quick face just to show you what you could do. This Superman that I created, I got it to a certain point where I liked it, and then the rest of the adjustments I made using that you know shape key skull. Yeah, so if you liked this video and it helped you, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I'll be making more videos more frequently. I, uh, I've been kind of slow on uploads because I've just been busy with other stuff. But yeah, I'm going to try and be more frequent with my uploads and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Oh, also uh, follow me on Instagram. I created a new Instagram uh, because before I was just using my private account just to post all my art and then I realized I was stupid. And so now I created a new account. It's just Deus Ex VFX on Instagram. And so yeah, check that out. I'll be posting stuff there. I'll be posting, you know, process videos, animations, stuff like that. So if you like all that, make sure to go check it out. And now I'm actually leaving. Okay, bye.